first day of school at New Orleans Bricolage Academy. Morning. Yay, first grade! Did you have a great summer? Yeah. Great, hug, high five, hug, I'll take it. What are you looking forward to the most? Um, math. Awesome, <laughs> love that. Now in its third year, Brick Lodge is already one of the most sought after charter schools in the city. When I drop my babies off, I leave here with peace of mind because I know they're going to be taken care of. Deborah Stevenson has already seen a remarkable change in her two granddaughters, Journey and Skye. Last year, Journey won Top Reader Award. Skye is a wonder woman. She can do anything and she tries anything because they give them that courage. For Melissa B's, innovation and creativity is what her son, Tristan, needed. I'm thrilled that we were able to choose the type of school that would be tailored to my child. Josh Denson, founder and CEO of Bricolage, says the student body is about 50-50 black and white from both affluent and disadvantaged families. We believe that bringing kids together from diverse backgrounds is a great way to increase equity, to increase empathy, and to catalyze creativity. When Hurricane Katrina hit in August of 2005, the public schools of New Orleans were considered among the worst in the country. The storm damaged and destroyed most of those schools, including ones like this, abandoned for 10 years. The state of Louisiana seized more than 100 schools, fired about 7,500 teachers, and turned the buildings over to independent school operators, or charters. There was a narrative that was created that somehow everything and everyone here was broken. But some community leaders say this experiment has destroyed community schooling and has disproportionately benefited whites over blacks. This brand of reform that has been employed in New Orleans and then touted across the nation as some kind of miracle is simply not working. But a study by Tulane University shows under the charter school system, student achievement is up, with 63% of students passing state assessment tests in 2014, a 30% increase since 2005, and graduation rates are up from 56% to 73%. Can everybody do that? It's time for calendar. Ah. Initially, charter schools were able to recruit the most desirable students. Now, parents can rank their school choices and go through a centralized lottery process. We have no influence over who attends Bricolage at all. Parents say when a spot unexpectedly opens up at a good school, they run. When we got in, there were two spots left. And I said, thank you, Lord, this one is for my baby. But some students do not get any of their choices, leaving some parents to question whether the program really works. I don't know that we're succeeding necessarily and that the same sort of quality education is available for everyone. Ten years now after the storm. We've gone from a school district that was an F to a school district that's about at a C level. How was your first day? New Orleans is still trying and won't stop until they get that A. Great. Suzanne Malveaux, CNN, New Orleans.